Back here in Korea, and Thursday tomorrow marks one year since Korea's narrow space rocket finally made it into space after three failed attempts, and it placed its load, a science satellite, into orbit. To mark the very special anniversary, our Song ji Sun went back to the space center to see what researchers are planning now. It took a dozen years and three attempts for Korea to join the space club by sending a homegrown rocket into space. While the first stage of the NATO rocket was built by Russian engineers, its follow-up, the Korea Space Launch Vehicle No. 2, aims to develop a full three-stage rocket on Korean soil from testing to launch. These are the key test facilities essential to building rocket engines, scheduled to be complete in April, ahead of a first test run in May. This is a combustor testing facility. Under such extreme conditions, where thousands of tons of fuel is burned within seconds, anything can happen if the test fails. So the emitter looks over to the sea, and the concrete safety wall is a meter thick to absorb the impact. A total of seven new buildings will be lined up here at NATO Space Center, and a brand new, larger launch pad will also be constructed next to the current launcher to test launch one completed rocket in 2017. Not a science satellite was only 100 kilograms, but the KSLB-2 will carry a practical low-orbit satellite 15 times heavier at 1.5 tons. Four 75-ton engines will be needed to send the three-stage rocket into space four times the size needed for the NATO. If successful in placing its satellite into orbit in 2020, the KSLB-2 will also be used to send a moon orbiter in the same year. Some may wonder if the fast-forwarded timeline is feasible, but the chief says it is, especially as Korea Space Agency may now have a new partner other than Russia in moon exploration. And in terms of the Lunar Explorer, we have stronger international cooperation. NASA has offered to collaborate in moon exploration as they will be involved in it at the same time we aim to send a lunar lander. To foster industry growth and profitability, Seoul aims to also use the rocket to launch other countries' satellites. Song Ji-sun, Arirang News, Gohung.